Senators head back to the Hill in a matter of hours. They hope to come to an agreement and end the shutdown today. But in the meantime, many government employees are either staying home today or just not getting paid. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee is live at McDill Air Force Base with a look at the direct impact this shutdown is going to have on you and your family. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Dia. Well, the military is considered essential, so they are still reporting to duty this morning, and you can see a steady line of employees showing up to work this morning. But the troops, including those in combat, may not be paid during a shutdown if it goes on for weeks. About 1.3 million active duty military will have to work potentially without pay. The military is currently paid through February 1st. Now, when it comes to federal employees, thousands of them won't report to work today, including those who process passport requests. Here in Tampa, the employees in those departments will be placed on furlough. In previous shutdowns, everyone who stayed home was paid retroactively after an agreement was reached in Washington. Many civilian Department of Defense employees will also not be working during the shutdown, including instructors at military academies and maintenance contractors. And if you had any plans for a vacation to visit any national parks, zoos or museums, you're going to want to make sure you call beforehand because some of them are shut down. Some of them are remaining open. It just depends. And we do have a uh, DeSoto National Park in Bradenton. So you want to call ahead for now. We're live. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.